just wanted to hop on real quick so to show you how to make the neckline on a jersey knit dress with a lining. So, I already have a couple of videos out on this brand new pattern of mine, which is a knit jersey dartless dress with a sleeve. It has a little bit of a fit and flare. So I'm not going to go into that. I hope you do see that video though, because it'll explain everything about the pattern and adjusting it. And I have directions already on my website on how to sew this jersey knit dress. But the neckline's a little tricky, so I wanted to address that separately. And actually, I tried to do it one way, but I'm going to show you the right way, the industrial way to do it. So let's get it started. It's important to get this far in the sewing process in order to do the neckline properly. And that is that you sewed the, the main dress, back seams, side seams, shoulder seams, and that you've done the same thing for the lining itself, which is the back seam, the side seams, and the shoulder seams. You can also prepare your sleeves ahead of time, and that means you're sewing the underarm seam, and you can serge the bottom to, because you already have that thread available on your serger. So, the thing you want to do is to take your dress on the right side of the dress like this and you first want to make sure that you have the center notch of the front neckline and the back neckline. The way to do that is to put seam to seam just like this. You can put a pin there if you'd like to hold it together. Then you want to fold it in half and make sure you have a little tiny notch for the center. And you want to go ahead and snip that. I already have a snip there, but I'll make another one because it's a little off. The back seam is your indication of the center of the back. Do the same thing for the lining. Now, with the right side of the dress, with the wrong side of your lining, this is the wrong side showing, you want to encase it in that the lining is on top. And you've got right sides to right sides together, right? The right side of the lining as well as the right side of the dress itself together. Um, note also that I am not stay stitching this neckline. The reason why is because your lining could be stretchier or less stretchy than your self fabric or your main fabric on your knit and they'll fight each other if you actually put a stay stitch on a knit garment. So we're not doing that. Starting here with the center notch of the neckline, I'm going to pin it together. This is a quarter of an inch seam, guys, so it's not a half of an inch all the way around. You're going to pin also the shoulder seams together. I'm going to put a pin all the way through it like this. Then I'm going to continue to pin it together like this. And you can see where one is stretching more than the other. That's fine. Just very gently pin them together. And don't really stretch it, but just let it gently go where it needs to be. All right, let's get to the machine. I'm here at the machine, and I have the top thread, the color of my lining, because I'm working on the lining side first. 
and the back side is um, the darker color for the self fabric. I could use white, but I don't want it to show on this side, so that's the way I'm doing it. Okay, we're going to be working from the center back seam. And I'm going to go ahead and stitch a straight stitch like that, a quarter of an inch from the raw edge. And if one stretches more than the other, then just do a little bit of a give, but do not pull when you're sewing. We're here at the center notch. Carefully go around that curve. Here we are at the end. Now there's no need to really clip this neckline because it is stretch. And we're just going to go ahead and turn it. And I'm again going to be working on the lining side. And what I'm going to be doing is pushing the actual excess or seam allowance towards the lining side and to put a stitch all the way down about an eighth of an inch or a sixteenth of an inch from the edge in order to help push that lining to stay inside. Now I'm going to feed the lining underneath the foot here till I get to the neckline. Making sure you only have a single layer that you're not sewing any of your lining underneath and you also want to make sure that the excess seam allowance is going towards the lining itself. I'm starting here at the shoulder line and my stitch length is a little less than three. You don't want it to make it too small and you don't want to make it too wide either. The foot just slightly in the crack. Pip squeak. Stop. Down, down, down. All the way around, having the excess towards the lining. Continue. Here we are at the end. You can backstitch, release the feed dog. And we're going to get to the iron now. Now push the lining inside of the dress and I have it very close to the edge. And on the right side, with a pressing hem, I'm going to steam that lightly down to keep it the lining inside. And you'll see a little bit of the self showing. Do that all the way around the neckline. So there it is. The lining is now tucked away inside there nicely and you've got your neckline and then you can proceed to the next steps which is putting in the sleeves and then dealing with the hems. And you can see when you actually do this because the lining is then pushed a little bit further in you may have the lining stick out a little bit. That's fine. Don't force it to match. Go exactly where it is and continue sewing your armhole before you set in your sleeve.